Hi everyone, this is Srinivas. Welcome to Amirpet Technologies. In this video, I am going to explain about uh, how to implement the code for bubble sort algorithm. In the last video, we have discussed so what is bubble sort algorithm and how we arrange the elements of an array in ascending order using bubble sort algorithm. So now the code implementation will see how the bubble sort algorithm works first we need to understand and the step by step code implementation I will explain in this video. Suppose I am taking one array. In this array, so total 5 elements are present. Array name A is pointing to this location and the values we are taking 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. The five elements I have taken in descending order because I want to explain every step clearly. So first of all in bubble sort algorithm the first step we need to understand is what? Is what? Comparing the index element with the next element. In array how can we compare the index element with the next element and swapping them if required. So when we have to swap means we need to arrange the elements in ascending order. Ascending order means what? Least element should come first, highest element should come next. So whenever we are checking that, suppose index element means ith location element, comparing with the next element means i plus 1 location element. ith location element is comparing with the i plus 1 location element. See here, the 50 is for example comparing with the next element. How can we? Just with the condition if a of i consider i value is a 0, 0 plus 1 value is a 1. 0th location element comparing with the first location element. So if a of i 0th location element is greater than i plus 1 first location element. Look at this 50 is greater than 40. Yes, condition is true. Then we need to swap them. How can we swap means? You can use either using the third variable or without using the third variable also we can. I am using the third variable. For example, one temporary variable I am taking. Into that I am storing that index element. Into that index element I am storing that next element. In, into that next location, I am storing that index element. That is the temporary element. This is the basic step we need to understand. How can we swap index element with the next element by comparing them? This is the first step. Next step is what? If you want to arrange the highest element to, the, to its location, to sort only one element, how many times we have to swap? How many times we should repeat the loop? That we need to understand. See for example, I already told you, if only one element is present in the array, do we need to sort? No. Suppose if two elements are present in the array, only only one time we need to swap. Look at this. Automatically that element will move to that location. For example, if three elements are there. For example, 30, 20, 10. I want to sort one element. How many swappings required means first swapping with a 20. Next swapping with a 10. Then automatically that highest element will move to that location. Only one element sorting, not all elements sorting. If three elements are there, then two swappings required. If two elements are there, one swapping required. If one element is there, swapping not required. Now here, based on the size of the array, we need to understand how many elements are present. Here it is, total n value is of 5. 5 elements are present. So how many iterations required means what? 4 iterations required. So first iteration comparing with 0. First iteration is 0. Index. Second iteration is 1. 
third iteration is 2, fourth iteration is 3. Total how many iterations? 4 iterations. So, you should start with 0 and ends with 3 when n value is a 5. So, we are repeating the loop for i equals to 0 or for example, later we need to write that outside loop. So, first let me take j. j equals to 0, j less than n minus 1, j plus plus. So, what is that less than n minus 1? What is the n value? Is a 5. Total 5 elements are there. 5 minus 1 is a 4. Less than 4 means what? Up to 3 it will repeat. See starting with 0, ending with less than 4 means what? Ending with 3. Total 4 iterations happens. In this one, when j value is a 0, 0th location element comparing with the first location element. In this one, C. Zeroth location element comparing with the first location. 50 and 40 compare. If A of J, A of J is comparing with A of J plus 1. When J value is a 0, condition is true. Here it is, whenever 50 is greater than 40, here also condition is true. We are swapping. The same story using temp variable, jth location element, comparing with the j plus 1 and swapping them. a of j plus 1 into a of j plus 1, the temp value will store. Temp value. So, nothing but 50, 40 become 40, 50, the remaining is the same. Next one, j value will increase j value increase. What is that j value is a 1. 1 is less than 4. Condition is true. So, first location element is comparing with the second location element. First one is comparing with the second one. Then again, here it is a 50 is greater than 30. Condition is true. So, swapping them. 40 is the same. 50, 30 become 30, 50. Remaining is a 10, 20 the values are. Next j value become 2. Second location element is comparing with the third location. Second and third. 40, 30. 50, 20 become 20, 50 and 10. And 10. Next value become 3. 3 is less than 4. Still condition is true. Because third location element comparing with the fourth location element. Yes, swapping required. 40, 30, 20, 10, 50. See, look at this. The highest element is bubbled to the last location. Next, whenever J value become 4. 4 is less than 4. Condition, false. 4 is less than 4. Condition, false. That loop will be terminated. Because with the help of this loop, the completion of this loop is called one pass. Is called one pass. For each pass, the highest element in the list bubbled to the last location. Bubbled to last location. This is the one. Sir, if you repeat this for loop one time, one element gets sorted. Now, how many elements you have to sort? If 5 elements are there, I already told you that. Right? If you arrange 4 elements, the 5th element automatically gets sorted. So, this loop, you have to repeat how many times means what? Exactly 4 times you have to repeat. So, this entire code, this entire code, you have to write inside another loop where i equals to 0, i is less than n minus 1, i plus plus. So, first when i value 0, see 5 minus 1 is a 4. When i value is 0, nothing but you are sorting the first highest element. When i value 1, you are sorting the second highest element. i value 2 
is a third highest element i value 3 is the fourth element you are sorting when i value 4 4 is less than 4 condition false so this inner loop repeats how many times means what four times it will repeat so that all elements will get sorted so this is how we are applying that bubble sort algorithm and now come to the time complexity and all see in this case now we are explaining again by taking all values of array in ascending or descending order once again look at this 0 1 2 3 4 the values 50 40 30 20 10 of course this one will give you the output but so we need to decrease some of the steps so that the time complexity happens means what quickly the algorithm executes you will get the results also see in this case whenever i value 0 it will come inside nothing but you are going to sort the first highest element it will repeat that how many times four times first 40 50 and 40 become 40 50 next one 50 and 30 will compare become 30 50 next one 50 20 will compare become 20 50 next 50 and 20 will compare i mean 10 will compare become 10 50 become 10 50 so this is how sorting happens that highest element bubbled to this location the highest element bubbled to this location one element already get sorted next whenever it will go to outer loop i value become one nothing but you are going to sort the next element that is 40 already 50 sorted now then no need to consider this only 40 30 20 10 only only three comparisons required because four elements are present but here how how many comparisons in inner loop one more extra comparison unnecessarily see first these two will compare 30 and 40 remaining is the same next these two will compare 20 40 next these two will compare 10 40 then why comparison is required because already this is sorted sir how can we control i don't want to consider this one then one element already sorted we have to write minus i so what is that i value is a 1 now look at this n value is a 5 5 minus 1 is a 4 4 minus 1 is 3 less than 3 means what 0 is less than 3 1 is less than 3 2 is less than 3 total 3 comparisons happens first 0 and 1 next 1 and 2 next 2 and 3 comparisons second highest element is bubbled next you have to decrease 2 next you need to consider only 30 20 and 10 30 20 and 10 you need to compare now look at this when i value is a 2 n value 5 5 minus 1 4 4 minus 2 is 2 so first 0 is less than 2 1 is less than 2 how many comparisons only 2 nothing but first 30 20 become 20 30 next 30 10 become 10 30 it is bubbled in the next iteration i value become 3 here how many elements are there only 20 and 10 are present look at this n value 5 5 minus 1 4 4 minus 3 is a 1 first 0 is less than 1 condition is true compare 10 20 
Next, comparisons not required because only two elements are there. Only one comparison is enough. Next, so only one element is there. Comparisons not required. So this is how it executes. When I value zero, first element sorted. When I value one, second element get sorted. When I value two, third element. When I value three, fourth element. So total number of elements are five. We are arranging four elements. Then automatically, fifth element gets its position. This is how we are implementing the code for bubble sort algorithm. See how many comparisons are happening. Next one, by adding one more condition, right? How can we reduce the number of iterations? And all we'll see in the next video. Hope you understood. Thank you all.